and TV today. Welcome. We have a special guest. Christina is going to be bringing some vibrancy to the community today on a good Friday. Christina, welcome here. Thank you so much. Very excited to be here with both of you. Well, we're excited. Tammy Scarlett and I will be co-interviewing you today. Ha Staffus, is that your last name pronunciation? Excellent. Yeah. Well, Tammy, I'm going to let you kick this one off with Christina because I get a feeling that uh, it's the right thing to do today. <laughs> All right, then. Hello, Christina. It's nice to have you. Hi, thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you were just telling us before we came on that you have this amazing title with a really particular kind of cool niche. Can you tell us what that is? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, I help introverted engineers get out from behind their computers to lose weight, gain confidence, and meet the love of their life. That's magical. That's like, like that's awesome. Okay, so yeah. how on earth, why did how did you come up with that? Um, well, yeah, that's a that's a that's a big story. Um, so. Um, I, my background, I should say, um, so people can kind of get reference is, uh, I, you know, I, I grew up in a really um, health conscious wellness, um, preventative medicine type of background. Um, it's something that, you know, it's, it's been in me, you know, for as long as I can remember. Um, I can really remember as far back as, you know, eight years old, because um, I started gymnastics around that time. And um, that really made me aware that I have this natural instinct. So always been healthy in good shape, you know, ate really healthy. My mom was a nurse um, and, you know, um, personal trainer, um, psychology degree, yoga teacher. But then in 2014, um, I had um, I, issues with my health. Um, I was actually in Los Angeles at the time. I was living in Australia. I went to Los Angeles to help with a yoga training. And um, that morning I, I woke up, I was going to teach about, you know, 400 plus people and get on this big podium. And it was very clear, like something was not right. I was up on the podium and I felt like I was going to fall off. Um, you know, things were coming out of my mouth that I didn't really mean to say. Um, and then later on, I, you know, I, I realized my balance was really off, even if I was on two feet. Um, that morning I almost fell in the shower. And so eventually, you know, you know, I said, okay, you know, I gotta, I have to fly home. Something is, you know, or fly to where my family lives in Arizona. Something is really wrong. And I remember getting to the airport, you know, I had my bags and I went to open the door and a man was coming out and he said, um, do you need me to help you like with your bags? And I said, you know, no, like I'm, you know, fit and healthy. Of course I can carry my bags. And once I got inside, I realized, oh, yeah, I'm not, there's a big line here. I'm not going to be able to get through this line um, with my energy. Like I was just, I had no energy. So I had to ask for that special car um, to go and drive me, you know, to my gate and everything like that, because I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it. And somehow that guy at the door, it was so bad that he recognized it before I even did. Um, and then, you know, eventually um, I went to go see the doctor um, you know, she took scans of my brain and she says, you know, I see some lesions there. Um, it looks like, you know, you might have multiple sclerosis, um, but, you know, you need to see a neurologist, get better scans. Um, and um, in the meantime, the left side of my face went numb. And I said to my mom, like, who I, as I explained, she's a nurse. I said, hey, like, I can't, I can't just wait <laughs> for all this because I was living in Australia, so I didn't have healthcare, I didn't have you no know, regular doctors in the US, I was in Australia. Um, and so she said, well, the only way that we can speed this up is to take you to the emergency room. And I said, okay, take me there because my body's trying to tell me something's wrong and I can't just sit here like a sitting duck, you know, something else goes on. So I um, went to the emergency room, um, I, you know, because my balance was off, they had to strap me to the bed because at night, because they, I was a fall risk. <laughs> you know, a yogi who could normally balance, you know, no problem. Um, and so um, on the fourth day of my visit, I had about nine neurologists come into my room. They had, you know, done more imaging of my brain. They'd done the sp spinal tap, other, um, other type of tests, and they all concluded, yes, you have, you have multiple sclerosis. And um, 
So <laughs> once I heard that, you know, my whole world just turned upside down because somebody, as I said, who's always been really healthy, always, but never thought of anything like that ever happening, you know, to me. Um, and uh, at first, you know, I went to alternative healers. Um, you know, I was trying to all like, you know, natural type of, of therapies, not really, you know, getting relief. In the meantime, you know, I was encouraged, you know, go to this neurologist, um, go to that neurologist. And I went to a couple, you know, interviewed them. And, um, you know, finally, you know, my brain was, when your brain is on fire, um, it's really hard to think clearly, but it's also really scary. Um, you you, you kind of just take for granted that your brain just, you know, tells your, you know, tells your body what to do. And my symptoms, you know, first symptoms was my right side of my body wasn't coordinating. Like I couldn't, I couldn't um, take a bottle of water and put the bottle to my mouth. I just threw it over my shoulder. I was dragging my leg, you know, after about like 10 steps or something, I would just collapse because I was just so tired. I couldn't drive. Um, I couldn't, you know, even like I couldn't carry my plates like back to the to the kitchen because I just didn't have that coordination on the right side. Um, and so, um, you know, I decided, okay, I'll go ahead and do the treatment. I have two doc, two neurologists, you know, um, saying the same treatment for me. So that treatment was a four day um, IV infusion, uh, steroid IV infusion, and then to take immunosuppressants. Um, once I took the immunosuppressants, I was like, somebody turned off the lights. Um, all of a sudden, like I just lost all sensations in my body. Um, I didn't, like I couldn't, um, you know, before when I go into, I, I teach yoga <laughs> and I teach hot yoga and the heat was very difficult for me at that time, but all of a sudden I couldn't feel the heat. Um, I couldn't feel like tired, even sleepy, tired, exhausted, tired from using my body. Um, you know, couldn't feel my emotions. Um, I stopped menstruating. Um, I just completely lost all the signals, you know, from my body. And, um, I, I lost my appetite. I couldn't eat. And somebody who was very, very lean, um, who had just trained myself to eat five times a day. And that got me really, really lean. And I was not only able to eat five times a day, I mean, eating one time a day was a struggle. I spent two months eating green apples because that was the only thing that it seemed like my body was going to be able to accept. Um, and I was exercising twice a day because, you know, the doctor said, hey, you know, um, you're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to jump. You know, this might progress to the point when you're in a wheelchair. So <laughs> me being myself, I said, no, I'm going to run and jump and exercise and do all this stuff, you know, uh, so I don't end up like that. Well, Christina, um, you're, you're sitting here all healthy and vibrant. So what happened? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, what happened is, um, uh, yeah, so uh, I put, well, I was going to get to that. <laughs> so uh, eventually, um, you know, I ended up putting on um, 40 pounds of weight, which was a, um, a lot for me. Um, you know, somebody who's really um, lean and small framed. Um, and, you know, the doctors didn't have any answers for me. You know, I was like, you know, I explaining all these weird symptoms that I was having. Um, hey, you know, my body is like wanting to put on weight and then eventually did put on the weight, um, you know, not having any appetite, exercising more. Why am I putting on, you know, why am I putting on this weight? No answers. Um, so I said to myself, okay, there's no answers here. So let me just, um, sit down with myself and, you know, obviously nobody's going to figure it out. So I have to figure it out. And so I asked myself, like, what do you believe? And it never felt right that I had this diagnosis and, you know, I concluded, okay, I don't think this is correct. I think this is just a one time, um, episode and it's not going to happen again. So, um, uh, from there, you know, I went to go <laughs> from neurologist to neurologist trying to find somebody who would just say, you know, okay, you don't have this, you know, you don't have this diagnosis. Um, and I eventually did find, I eventually did find one. Um, he looked at my scans and he said, you know, you, there are, he looked at the old scans, but he, these are MS lesions, but, or these are lesions, but they're not consistent with MS. I don't know what it is, but these aren't MS lesions. Then I, went and got another scan um, 
a little while later and no lesions um they also said there are no lesions and they also said it, it doesn't even look like you had any in the first place like there's no sign of it um so i kind of jumped ahead but <laughs> you know what i did like i said first i asked myself that question i went back to my spiritual practice um because you know i stopped all of that because like i said my world just kind of you know turned upside down um and you know i had to adjust the way that i was eating because even though I was eating healthy before, it just wasn't the right eating for me at that particular t point in time. Had to adjust, you know, my exercise habits and everything like that. Um, and, you know, just making those making those changes and, um, you know, realize, you know, I had needed to repair my gut. I needed to really focus on my mindset. Um, and as I said, like the exercise, those are really the, the key things that um, that helped me to yeah, to, to get through that. And I don't have any MS symptoms um, at, you know, I haven't had any since, since that time when I haven't had these since. Um, and yeah, I don't have the 40 pounds extra weight. Wow, it must have been so scary. And for you to be, you know, that in that world in being um, in your body, using your body, and then suddenly it says, sorry, I don't want to work for you anymore. We're going to, we're going to go on vacation. I, I, I feel your heart like so much because I have had kind of the same thing happen to me. So I'm, I'm resonating with you here and it's uh yeah. Oh, wow. and, and, to, and for you to say to yourself, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it a different way. That's beautiful because look at the results. As Amos said, you're sitting here vibrant and able to speak to us about it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and that's and that's what I said is that like if I'm gonna get through this, because <laughs> it was a you know it I mean, it was like total system shutdown. Um, I said if I'm gonna get through this, um, you know I I I want to be able to help other people because it was a period of time you know very traumatized, um, very frustrated, confused, lost. Nobody was directing me the whole time. I was like I just wish you know I just had somebody you know, that was with me, um, helping me along this process. And also somebody who is um, respectful of of the the treatments or the process that I want to go through, I guess, basically, because my family's like, you have to go, you know, this traditional route, you know, work with the doctors and stuff like that. And it didn't, it was not the right way for me, but I didn't have anybody that was like, okay, you know, let's try your way and let, you know, give me suggestions, give me support and motivation. It was, it was very much the opposite. So felt very much alone. And so I said, okay, I don't want anybody to feel what I felt. So that's why, you know, I went through what, you know, that's why I'm doing what I do. Um, you know, getting rid of that 40 pounds was not easy. And I feel for a lot of people, you know, who are struggling to lose weight, you know, it's not always the simple answer of, you know, do this diet or do this type of exercise. You know, if it's not, if it's not coming off, you know, there's some other reason. And um, so I want to be there, you know, to help people um, through my journey to be able to get, you know, on the other side of, 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 you know, where they're at. Well, let's talk Absolutely. about that. Your coaching, what do you offer then? How does it look? Yeah, so um, I do virtual coaching. Um, so I work with people kind of similar to what we're doing. <laughs> and, um, and I, you know, like I said, I am there to support them and their goals. But obviously, you know, we, we got to figure out what those goals are. <laughs> and then uh, we got to break it down so that it's something that, you know, they can, they can work on, you know, day by day. Um, and just go through that process, like I said, like the key things that I, I really, um, I really realize is that, you know, okay, if there's any type of signs that, you know, your gut is in distress, we, we have to, we have to address that. Mindset is, is so important and mindset kind of goes with emotions. Um, people don't really understand or respect or um, really make that connection. You know, a lot of times when I talk to people, oh, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I got this back pain, it just came out of nowhere. And I said, well, it didn't come out of nowhere. Let's go back, you know, a couple months back and let's talk about what was going on. And eventually we can find some kind of emotional, you know, connection. And that's, you know, that's what I realized through my own journey. Um, and then, like I said, like with the, with the exercise, 
Um, and I don't even like to say exercise. I like to say movement. Like I work with people who are sedentary. That's, you know, my, my clientele. Um, people who are usually behind computers. It's to find, um, it's to find movement that works for them, that works for their schedule. You know, if they're not doing it, they're probably thinking, I don't have time. Okay, well, let's create time. Let's make it so that you feel like you have time and not make it like a burden, but actually make it so that you actually have more time, not only by doing it, like not only to create the time for the exercise, but by doing the exercise, become more productive. Um, and also making sure it's enjoyable. So yeah, that's important, right? Yeah, who wants to start something that's like already I'm feeling like crap. Now you want me to do something else crappy? No. <laughs> so yeah. That's so are you are you an engineer? Is that how you decided to work with engineers? I am not an engineer. That's a really good question. Um, and a lot of people are like, okay, why introvert? Um, no, um, I that's a, a question that how the best way I can answer it is is people that naturally actually just gravitate towards me. Um, I cannot tell you how many people that I, you know, are acquaintances, friends, whatever, you know, it's usually, you know, a lot of engineers. And I think the reason for that is that um, there's an opposite. Um, as I said, like I have my background in psychology, you know, gymnast, um, yoga teacher, you know, all that, um, you know, spiritual kind of airy type <laughs> realm. Um, and, you know, an engineer is somebody who's, you know, very techie, you know, computer gaming. I'm not a gamer. <laughs> You know, their brain works really, really different, but they're looking for something that I offer. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate the way that their brain works. I'm just like, you know, wow, you can take apart a computer. You're like a genius. And of course that makes them feel good, you know? Um, and also I used to be an introvert. Um, I was an introvert, you know, for a you know, good part, part of my life. Um, I spent a lot of time in my head um, that's my natural disposition. But once I started teaching yoga, I realized, okay, I, that's not working. Like people, people are coming to you and they want to interact with you and they want to get to know you and they want you to know them really well. And so I had to, I had to train myself out of that, you know, to become like to come out of my shell. And that's mm -hmm. a little bit what I do with the people I work with. I'm not saying that you have to become an extrovert, but very much this thing of coming out of your shell. Um, to recognize that, okay, you can't keep everything to yourself. You can't stay hidden because you have something significant, you know, to share with other people and they want, they, they want to know those things. It's to get those people to realize that, hey, they do want to get to know you. They do, they are interested in this aspect about you and this aspect, but you have so much to contribute. So that's why. Christina, we'll need you. As we begin to wrap here, we'll need you after to put your links in the comments of the Facebook. I'll tag you. I've actually okay. tagged you. But Tammy, why don't you, uh, let's begin to wrap. But this has been an amazing story. I know Tammy's going to want to interview you, of course, now in the Women's Wellness Network. Of course. Oh, definitely. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. Do you, Okay. One last quick thing. Do you find you work more with men or with women or is it kind of equal? Um, I, it's, I would say it's actually kind of equal. Um, but, uh, I, I do tend to, um, how do you say, it? I guess like if I think of my avatar, my client avatar, yeah, it's more of, of, of a male. Um, just, just because I, I find that, um, that avatar is somebody who's kind of looking for that type of, you know, feminine energy. They feel more comfortable with that. And I can, I naturally can, uh, you know, easily interact with, with that, with that uh, masculine energy. But I've had, you know, I have equal amount of male and female, to be honest. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, well, maybe she'll yeah. have to be interviewed by Andrew at the Extraordinary Men's uh, Group also. Yeah, I, I honestly, like, I think a lot of times the males get underserved, you know, people are always like, oh, I work with females, I work with females, I work with females, like, well, what about the, what about the males, like, they need help too, so, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's, it's been amazing. Christina, thank you for being here and being vulnerable, and I, it's just so weird to hear you talk about, weird is the wrong word, it was odd to hear you talk about such a devastating 
and then you're smiling. I'm like, I don't understand, but you're so happy. So it's amazing mm -hmm. to see how far you've come. This has obviously transformed your entire life. Your entire personality and perspective, I bet, is so leveled up through this process. Yeah, I mean, once you get on the other side of it, it's like, wow, you know, it feels amazing because I was just talking to somebody, you know, before this call. And when you're in it, you know, you dream of being on the other side, but it's, you know, it's kind of, um, you dream of it, but it's kind of stays a dream. Um, and, you know, when you can help people say, no, no, it can't, it can't be a reality. Like I'm living proof of it. And, you know, let me take you by the hand and, and show you that it doesn't have to be a dream. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank Love you it. for being here on Ian TV today. Tammy and I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Your infectious smile tells it all. I know Tammy will connect with you after this to interview in her group as well, the Women's Wellness Network. It's blowing up. It's five and a half weeks old, 15, almost 100 members almost. So they're just blowing up. So she, the women would love to hear your story. So thank you for being here. Thanks, Tammy, for leading this today. Thanks, Amos. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Christine, well, too. Thank That's you so amazing. much for having me. I really appreciate it. Okay. We'll end the broadcast here. ENTV today. Reach out to Christina Stathis. I'll tag her in this interview. She'll drop any links in the comments section of the Facebook after. Wow, what a story. Motivation. If she can do it, you can do it too. Thanks, everyone. Definitely. Thank you.